After months of buildup and planning across central Indiana, this, the first total solar eclipse in the city's history, and it did not disappoint. If you watched our special coverage today, you saw there were hundreds of thousands of people who came here to witness the historic event. They were at the fairgrounds, they were at the speedway, and they were at towns all over the state. But tonight at six, the sun is back out, and those crowds, well, they're on the road and they're heading back home. And we're keeping an eye on the roads right now, whether or not you're heading from an Eclipse watch site or from work, or even if you're heading to watch Purdue play in the national championship game tonight with some family and friends. We want to make sure that you're able to safely get to where you're going and do so in a timely manner. Lauren Kostek is with Indiana State Police tonight as they are tracking the, tracking the traffic and the slowdowns tonight. Hey, Lauren. <laughs> Hey, Anne, that's right. We really have a bird's eye view of what's happening on our interstates. And it really depends on where you're going, where you're at. There are some interstates where they're not seeing any problems, but there are some problem areas. So I want to start locally. This is here at 465 and 10th Street. So if you are leaving the Indianapolis Motor Speedway right now, no problem at all. You'll be fine. But it's a different story if you're heading north. If you're getting on I-65, that's when things start to change. So here, this is 71st Street on I-65. Traffic just creeping along over there. A little different when we head into Hendricks County on 65. Same story, moving very slowly. And then things start to change a little bit as we get closer to Lafayette. That's when we're going to see more of that bumper to bumper traffic. Uh, but, you know, we also mapped it out so we could calculate how long that takes. So, for example, if you're heading from the Indianapolis Motor Speedway up to Lafayette, it is saying right now two hours and 21 minutes. Look at all that red. But you could shave off some time, it says, if you take 52 north. So it might be a good idea, and to take that seat scenic route, go on one of those state roads and head that way and avoid some of the headache here on the interstates. But it really does seem like a lot of people listen to that advice of staying put and staying late. So good news tonight again, but for those drivers on 65, oof, they're going to need some patience. That's right. Or reroute to 52, as you said. Thanks so much, Lauren Kostick reporting live. Well, thousands